Good morning. So uh, this is something that I did recently when I was at Norwest Con as kind of an icebreaker when people came to my reading. As people were coming in, I decided that I wanted to read from the original Legend of Zelda game manual, which, um, you know, I'm talking back in the NES days, so really old school 80s here. Um, but I did it in the voice of Earl, which if you have not read Class M Exile or seen me read Class M Exile, you might be going, who in the heck's Earl? Uh, but Earl is an alien who studies um, humans via bad TV, specifically bad westerns. So he thinks everybody talks with a Texas drawl, and a particularly bad Texas drawl at that. Um, humans at this point are thought to be extinct, and uh, so, you know, it's it's kind of a thing to study them, I guess, on his, his planet of Tursic. And when he walks around, he talks like a bad Texan. And uh, this story, while slapstick, does deal with prejudice and does have some, you know, gritty underbelly to it. But um, his voice in particular is always fun to read because I hate when my Texas drawl kind of comes through. And I end up slipping a y'all in here or there, especially living in the Pacific Northwest and people look at me like I'm crazy. So um, it's fun when I get to play with this accent. And when I did this particular reading, um, people thought it was really funny. And the people who missed it were upset that they missed it. So I've had some requests for me to do it via video like this so that those people who missed it have the opportunity to hear the Legend of Zelda manual read, um, well, from the point of view of Earl. So I'm going to do that really quick because um, I figure everyone should sh share in this, this fun. So uh, yeah, here we go. Longer ago than I can recall, the world was in an age of chaos. In the middle of this chaos, in a little kingdom in the land of this place they call Hyrule, a legend was being passed down from generation to generation. The legend of the Triforce, Tri like three, I guess. I guess there were three of them things. Well, these golden triangles were possessing these mystical powers or something. One day, this evil army up and attacked this peaceful little kingdom and stole that their tri-force of power. This army was led by Ganon, the powerful prince of darkness, who reckoned he'd plunge the world into fear and darkness under his ruler, so I heard. Fearing his wicked rule, Zelda, this princess lady of high rule, split up that tri-force of wisdom into little eight little pieces and hid them throughout the realm to save that last remaining Triforce from the hands of that evil Ganon. Hunting them down is going to be a real chore, I suspect. At the same time, though, she told her most, most trusted nursemaid, Impa, to secretly escape into the land and go find a man with enough courage to destroy that there evil Ganon. Though I just gotta say, woman without a man's like a fish without a bicycle or so my friend Mel told me. I'm not so sure she needed a man for this job. Anyway, that man, well, more like a boy, I reckon. He was called Link. Y'all have to find that relic of a game and give it a play to find out what happens next. But I reckon either way, it'll be good. Anyway. So, uh, yeah, that was what I read. And um, for those that were actually at Norwest Con at my reading, um, it was kind of funny because after reading that, sometimes I have trouble getting my normal accent back. So I started reading from A Maskin's War with just a little bit of a drawl. <laughs> Oops. So, uh, yeah, sorry about slipping into Texan um, at Norwest Con, but hopefully that was a lot of fun for you to listen to. And if you want lots of humor, you should check out Class in Exile. It's, uh, it's an interesting little story. Anyway, bye!